Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to take a look at how we can do a preview of Windows 11 as a virtual machine up inside of VirtualBox. Microsoft has made available a free Windows 11 Enterprise virtual machine as a OVA file for downloading. This is an excellent way of previewing Windows 11 without having to upgrade your current install of Windows 10. The great thing about using this OVA file provided for us from Microsoft is that it does not perform any of the TMP security checks. In other words, it does not check for the presence of a TMP chip, nor does it care. The first thing we want to do is go to the Microsoft developer site and download this OVA file. It is 20 gigabytes in size. So if you've got a bad internet connection or you have a troublesome internet connection, you may want to use a download manager. The direct link for this download is available for you inside of the lab file. But if you need to get to it and you don't have the lab file, just go to Google and you're just going to type in Microsoft Developer Site Windows 11 OVA. And it'll take you right to it and you can download it from there. Now if you run out of space on your hard drive like many of you will, you can use a thumb drive to store this download. Again, it is very large. It is 20 gigs in size. Now, once you have it downloaded, you're going to go to your VirtualBox Management Console. You're going to go up to File, and you're going to click on where it says Import Appliance. That starts the Import Virtual Appliance Wizard. From here, you're just going to click on the little icon over to the right, and you're going to browse to where you saved that download. Note that the download is labeled windev2202eval.ova. That is the correct file. Once you have that file, just go ahead and double click it. Scroll to the bottom of the screen and click Next. This is all the settings that this VirtualBox has pre installed. Here you can actually rename the file to something more user friendly, such as Windows 11 Eval. Once you've done that, you can scroll on down and you can change the location of where you're saving your virtual disk if that's what you choose. I don't save mine to my C drive as it seems to fill it up quite quickly. I have another volume that I use for the storage of my virtual disk. Once you're all set, just go on down to the bottom of the screen and click on the import button. And the import process will begin shortly. Now this is going to take some time because, as we stated, this is a very large OVA file. It can take up to 15-20 minutes, so do be patient. Our Windows 11 OVA file has been imported into VirtualBox. Now to start this virtual disk that we just created, all we have to do is double click it. Once Windows 11 does launch, it will take you directly into the desktop using automatic logon. So that you don't have a problem with the evaluation expiring, there are one or two things that you can do. The first thing that you should do is go up to Machine in your taskbar and take a snapshot. I've called my snapshot Windows 11 Eval Fresh Install. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And now I've taken a snapshot and I'll be able to roll back this machine when the Eval does expire and I'll have another Eval starting as if I had just installed a fresh edition. Like any other Windows operating system, you can extend the trial period for up to three additional 90-day periods by opening a command prompt as administrator and using the SLMGR space forward slash rearm command. So if you're looking for the start menu, that's going to be right here. Everything that you want or normally would see in a Windows 10 start menu is now inside of this quick launch and so you can click on this and it's just a normal start menu but it's just been reformatted into a different view and so you can look at all your normal apps as you would and then you can search up here for whatever it is you're looking for in this case we want the command prompt that's fine I'll open up the command prompt but in this case we have to open it up as an administrator so I'm gonna close this out I'm going to go to the next icon here, which is the search bar. I'm going to open this up, and I'm going to type in CMD, like so. 
And over here on the right, I'm going to choose to run as administrator. User access control pops up. I'm going to say yes. Now I have access to the command prompt as an administrator. And now I can type in that command to allow myself another 90-day evaluation period. Again, that command was slmgr space forward slash rearm. Just like so. And you go ahead and hit enter. I'm going to come back to the prompt link and you know that command completed successfully. So as you can see, the maximum allowed number of rearms has been exceeded. That's because I've been practicing setting up this video. So you must reinstall the OS before trying to rearm again. That's fine, but I also have a backup, don't I? I have the snapshot. So I can just keep using that snapshot, keep rolling back, and I'll have another 90-day eval period. Go ahead and close this out. And so you now have a free install of Windows 11 that you can look around, you can explore, and you can see if there's any of the features that you really like or you don't like. There are a lot of things going on in here, and this edition that we're looking at is for developers. So you're going to see a lot of additional software that you normally won't see with a normal download of Windows 11. That's going to conclude this short video presentation on how we go about doing a preview of Windows 11 as a virtual machine up inside a virtual box. I'm Professor K. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.